Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. And now I'm going to show you how you can enlarge in those iPhone formatted apps on your iPad. So, we have a wide variety of apps that we can get through the App Store. And all of those apps in the App Store will play just fine on the iPad. So, for instance, let me quickly open up, say, um, Facebook. You'll notice that Facebook opens nice and wide and everything's very crisp. But if I were to open up, say, Drive Saver, this is a fantastic app, but it's formatted for the iPhone, so it doesn't, doesn't rotate right. It's really tiny. I could rotate my iPad to watch it. There's even this little 2x icon that makes it bigger. Now, this is okay. I mean, for some applications, it's fine to view them really small. But in most cases, I wouldn't want to do that. Most cases, I would want to go to the App Store, and when I do a search for an app, say like the Kindle app, there's a section here called iPad apps and a section called iPhone apps. I want to make sure I'm getting the iPad app. Some applications are even universal, meaning that you can get the iPhone app and it will scale properly on the iPad. But to be safe, always grab the iPad app when you can. That will make sure that it maximizes the screen real estate and that you can view images and text very crisp. Again, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac and I've shown you how you can enlarge in those iPhone apps on your iPad.